Good morning and beautiful day to you. Thanks for joining in. So, in relationships, when we get upset, this is an opportunity for us to practice why we're getting upset and what is happening within us. It's an opportunity to become more aware of ourselves, to know thyself, as Socrates says, to become more aware of our expectations of the other person that we either know about consciously or we don't know about subconsciously so our upset our upset emotion is the the chance to wake up call the alarm the alarm bell the clock asking and telling us to wake up become more aware of what's going on within you psychologically emotionally mentally spiritually so look at our expectations and our assumptions. They're two of the hugest, biggest things to know about. Our expectations and assumptions. What are we assuming about the other person and what are we expecting from them? What are we assuming that they know about us, that they, what we want from them, how, how we want to be treated, what we think that they're going to do? As my friend Teal Swan in another video mentioned, you go to the a man and a woman go to the cinema and the man doesn't pay for the woman or her popcorn and then she sits down she's all upset because she's expected him to do this because of the cultural way it's our cultural conditioning and habits and what we've experienced in the past and we've even then the woman's also even expected assume that he'll know about this and he, like he's that he's supposed to so instead of having a happy time she's really upset and another thing apart from our assumptions and expectations guys which is really huge in relationships to be honest and all type of relationships romance intimate or family work too is another thing is we get upset because of also our attachments we we, we um we, we're fixated and determined and expect something to happen and when it doesn't happen we're attached to it it's glue it's sticking to us it's uh, it really gets affects us very much so but the thing is it's we don't want to be totally unattached either because some things are very important in life so another thing apart from expectations and assumptions is to know about our needs we we want to get our needs met um, reasonable human needs like for example um, we need rest we need a certain degree of alone time generally every day otherwise we can become smothered in a relationship so there's, there's um, a, we need um, an opportunity for personal creativity and expression and either physical expression and also uh, like verbal expression like the way I'm doing now or some people write books some people make music some people dance art, all sorts of different types of expression. So we also, we, we, so we have needs, like we, we want to be treated. So it's attachments, assumptions, assumptions, expectations, attachments, and our needs. We want to know what we need. Some people need more intimacy or some people need more social time. Some people need, need more alone time. Sometimes we need rest, we need sleep. We need to do exercise, we need to go out. There's, we need, as I said, expression, creativity. So another need we have, which is, another thing is very important, which gets us upset. So we want to look at all of those things I mentioned. Another thing is what we want, hope, or desire. So we will get upset with assumptions, expectations, if our needs aren't being met, and if our desires, hopes, or wishes in our heart aren't being met. So it's really important to also know what our desires and wishes and hopes are, what we want in a relationship also. And if we don't know what these are, we, we, we won't be able to forge and express and to basically um, negotiate and communicate about this. And this is vitally important. So all of this is about knowing ourselves. Uh, it's about knowing ourselves and it's about communicating and manifesting. It's about being self-aware and to become more empowered and to become clear. It's about clarity. So I call myself a clarity coach, an empowerment coach, and an awareness coach. And these, these three words sum up pretty much about what life is all about, and what I am about, and what teachings of spirituality are all about, basically speaking, also. So I'm trying to... So... We have wishes, and we want to be true to ourselves, and want to express 
express and communicate these wishes to other people. But we can only know, express and manifest this if we become aware of it in within ourselves first. So it's essential to use being upset with anyone, especially your relationship partner, because these are your teachers about yourself. That's what they are. I was in a karmic relationship, or you call it a soul mate, or you call it, or maybe not a soul mate, but a soul contract, soul friend, lovely person, relationship, for a few years. And basically they were my teacher. And I thanked them immensely, and they're my friend now. But at the time we were just, weren't connected, we were always like, or like arguing too much. We just, so this video, if I only knew this video now, then, I'd listen to her much more and I'd listen to what she's teaching me about myself, about my undeveloped and immatured parts and my areas of not knowledge about her and women and her needs and wishes and desires and wants and hopes and her expectations and all of that within me even more so. So it all reflects back to yourself about all of these things I mentioned, okay? Your wishes, wish, needs, and hopes, your your expectations, and your desires, your attachments, um, and assumptions, guys. So it's so important to know all this stuff. And I hope this video helped you. I hope you're having a lovely day. And it's, this is all about practicing. This will all help you to practice self-love. And um, it's all about self-love. If if it, how happy and well you are in life is all a reflection or sad or not happy is all a reflection of how self-loving you know how to practice and live so that's how you do it self-love and clarity and awareness and empowerment so everyone have a beautiful day stay happy stay healthy and stay get clearer and have a beautiful day and smile Laugh as much as you can, have fun, look after your physical health is essential, pick good friends, choose good friends, say no to things that doesn't serve you in life, in all aspects of life, kick out this stuff like lovingly to yourself that doesn't serve you and helps other people too and things and places and work and spend your time wisely and express yourself and know what your needs are, it's essential what your needs are, get time for personal creativity and expression and um, gravitate and manifest friends and relationships and business and career that satisfy your heart and your soul and it nourishes you and you nourish other people and the community and the world with your work and do it consciously. So let's try and be all, be more, it's all about being more conscious about ourselves and about the effects of our choices and decisions and words and behavior and also about being more conscious um, generally in life so in this video everyone's been like watching me and smiling and looking at me and wondering what I'm doing uh, and sorry about all the noise but um, that's just the way this this cookie crumbled the way this this thing rolled so um, I'll see you again in another video until then as I said stay happy well and healthy and lots of love everyone take care bye